Lara. You name them, they've got them. It is a very chillaxed place to use modern vernacular. I am lovely and formed our crew. We were uh, busy playing football in Copacabana yesterday. I don't think they were doing bad. Uh, there were some rumours of uh, some sightseeing helicopter rides as well. Whatever you do, you can do a lot of things here. Enjoy yourself. Tourists, of course, coming to the beach and uh, heading up the hill to see Christ the Redeemer. Sugar Lake Mountain nearby as well. That's another fabulous vantage point. And uh, if you get a right hand seat coming out of the domestic airport, you get to see them both perfectly. There's the little tip for you. You can have that one for nothing. We are concentrating though indoors at the Olympic Shooting Centre. We are more than halfway through our programme. 35 degrees, so uh, a lot of people taking the indoors and just trying to keep cool, though got, uh, the curtains open, we can see outside, it's the 50 metre range, these women have been busy preparing, getting fit, getting in the zone as well, lots of different exercises, but a time for a natter as well. Today we start with a 50 metre mic or three position for women and then the women take centre stage again a little bit later on with the 10 metre air pistol. And then two more days of final three finals with the mixed team events on the last day and then we all head home. It's a shame, it's a beautiful place, lots to see and do. Qualification over the two days, those hot essential canvas suits, not the most comfortable. Yesterday, it suspended uh, qualification for a while for the pro events because we had a bit of a heath fire, as you might call it, back at home. And uh, bits of soot flying everywhere. And of course, it is open, so we had to stop for a while. Anyway, it was the same for everybody. And we do have our eight finalists. And here they are, just a reminder of the Olympic quota situation. Only Great Britain's Shona McIntosh Serbia with Sanya Vukasinovic. Those are the two athletes who cannot get a quota. Everybody else can. Got a kick for three position. Serbia, she's representing the place Ukraine, 22 in, uh, years New Delhi young. this year, her, her first World Cup final, she'll be hoping to go a bit further here. She won in Baku 2017 as a junior and 6th like place World Cup in Korea 2018. Is the person Let's who welcome qualify first. Anna this is Pei Rui Zhao of uh, China, 23 years of age. Junior world champion and a gold last eight. year in the World Cup yeah, at Guadalajara. The Republic so, of Korea. Uh, she really knows the way to the top of the podium. And junior 16. Asian champion 
she took the seventh well. in place here next in to her an experienced campaign even though she's only 25 Kim years Ye of age julian beer of hanover gold in the world cup final two years ago gold oh, in the world cup three G. years ago in bangkok is representing Certainly great britain 23 with years here world ranking number it's one of an outlier four days ago it is a better she won call a silver of medal with the arrival from the Tino club 24 years of age well. in new Let's delhi welcome this year so you need shauna mcintosh next up She's in position E. This is Anna Ilena, 25 and years of age, 20, uh, 25 ranked in the world, 22 Slovenia, years of age. Years young. And, world uh, the gold in the European Championships at the junior level, best in the World Cup, is sixth. This is Kim Ji Hee of Korea, Let's welcome 23 years of age, 17th uh, best in the World Cup. So. Uh, it's in Beijing this year, on an upward curve, the youngster. The jury member in charge, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Biondo Joelo of well, Brazil. is Shona McIntosh. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, our Great chief Britain. range officer here in this range, Mr. Here, Oscar Xavier no Martinez of is Venezuela. Watching over. Sister Jen, of course, the elder sister. Senores and senores. Approving esta final, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry, enjoy the final to support uh, your athletes Scotland. and poor yeah, Sochi athletes. First, Good luck before to that was Ziva Thank of, uh, you very Slovenia. much. And the last information, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of seconds. We have we have two quarter places for the Tokyo 2020. Information. As important, perhaps more important in this context, the gold, silver, and bronze you get in a World Cup. So these athletes have been there and done it all before, and have the stickers on their rifles to show it. Some athletes, like Shona McIntosh, like to keep that rifle pristine with nothing on there. It's just a question of preference, isn't it? Really, rifles are yeah, checked, and that's for sure. To make sure that the right weight, that there's nothing on there, shouldn't be. And if you for the first competition look at the, uh, series, boxes behind. No. That's got everything they need to change between the different positions. Start. So we're underway. A reminder: we start in the kneeling position. Three series of five shots with 200 seconds. That's three minutes and 20 seconds to get them underway. Then we go to prone. Three series of five shots there, and then we go to standing, where we have two series of five shots, and then after each shot, we then have. It. Leave. Well, kneeling, you want to start well. Coral not starting well with a 9 2. Kim, good. Vukasinovic, good as well. Beer taking her time. There she is. With the baseball cap. 10 just showing up for her first shot. Remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint, but it does tend to speed up right towards the end. If you've not done the work, Early on, you may be in trouble even if you are the best shooter in the standing position. Kim with the blinder and the uh, very bright in defenders, molded somehow for the headphone style. As you can see, certainly blocked out to the distractions of the outside world. Blinder needs to push, it doesn't have to uh, close her. Left eye, 10-3, not bad at all. And we will go to the prone position after this. That will be where you should see the biggest scores because that's the most stable position for shooting. Just watch the trigger here. There we are, just the slightest of touches. The trigger action, the tolerance has to be within certain boundaries but very very individual for these athletes Kim shooting well another 10.7 for her 10.9 from McIntosh that's the best you can get dead center 
gets pushed up. Up. Yeah, score. Sheets. Nate. Yeah, battling for the medals. Here's Jolene Beer. The German athlete from Hanover. Ranked number seven. Little adjustment Stop. for the sights there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, next to me, the last shot. Speaker, and we have all finished house, for all our the first eight shots. Looking good for Macintosh. Spent the lead ahead of Kim J. Jen has uh, retired from his tennis career herself. 23 years of age, this young woman from Edinburgh, very proudly Scottish. If you look at the year defenders at some stage during this competition, you'll see the uh, Scottish Sultan and the White Cross on a blue background, the Scottish flag. Bronze in Munich this year in three positions, so she's really having a good year. Timing her run to Tokyo very well indeed. She's grouping pretty well as well. Kim next to her. A little bit all over the place. That's Don McIntosh watching on. 10 5 for a beer. Who's there or thereabouts? Kim is looking good as well. Equal first now. It was equal first for McIntosh. It's moving around a little bit. Beer is shooting well. And she is now in first place. We'll be happy with that. Very sensible to have some ear protection on if you're in the crowd as well. Noisy old business this when you're at the 5.6mm calibre. Not so bad with uh, the air pellets, of course, of the 10 meter events. But yeah, first place. It's uh, Kazakhstan who's some way off at the moment in eighth. Gold in the World Cup final in New Delhi. Gold in the bronze for a beer in the World Cups. It's Coral. We did say that uh, 24 year old. But as experienced as some, does have a bronze medal yeah, this year. First event of the season in New Delhi. So it's two out of three. Five shot series in position. Macintosh in a bit of a battle, hasn't it? But she is still top of the pile. Well, this is what they are. Shooting with 0.56 millimeter, no, 5.6 millimeter, 0.22. And the old money. And, uh, during qualification and the final, get through quite a few rounds. And so, this factory and others like it are always busy. Start. Another round has been loaded. We are ready to aim at those targets. Fifth meters away. Jackets and 
gloves. Oh, helping to keep them stable. The breathing has to be low as well, as low as you can make it. Such a high pressure environment. McIntosh shooting well. Good groupings at the center of that target. Question is, can she keep going? Some of these athletes will be hanging on in the leaning position, knowing they're better in other positions. Coral spring, a 9-7 and then a 9-3. That's not going to help her get off the bottom of the leaderboard. China's. Okay. And uh, Korea's Kim. Challenge along with the crawl of Kazakhstan. Just just about in Asia. Central Asia, isn't it? It's not that my gel, which is in Europe, of course. My geography is correct. Baku, the host of the European Games four years ago. 10 7, all right. So really good shot, you know, 203, pretty good for the athletes from Slovenia. Remember, all athletes but Great Britain and Serbia. So Vukasinovic and McIntosh able to get an Olympic quota place as well. Kim and Pei, Korea and China, second and third, keeping the pressure on this woman. Shira McIntosh. Stop, unload. Seven minutes, change over and sighted time, start. Puts the safety in. Yeah, and and a bit uncomfortable. Oh, Surprise one, it is warm in here. And, and they have finished the first position. It's three series of five shots. So 15 shots gone. And still, Shona McIntosh leading Kim and Pei with Cole to a long way adrift at the bottom. So seven minutes now to change position. The mats go out and uh, the jackets sometimes come off completely, sometimes just unzipped because of course you don't need the stability when you are in that uh, leaning, uh, sorry, position on the floor. your focus to getting ready for a different position prone in this case. Yeah, and as cool as possible. Keep yourself as cool as possible. And it's uh, very much a t-shirt and shorts day here in Rio and uh, <laughs> certainly in anything but. So then changing to prone. changes around the sights ch change I mentioned this during the men's competition going to lie down so the head isn't going to be so high so the sight has to change to reflect that there's the sighting time as well Julian Beer the German athlete down very quickly still five minutes to go some take a little longer feel they would rather just get themselves as composed as possible uh, the payoff is a little less sighting time. So, Dimanche, getting herself ready. Ziva, Dvorak. Ukrainian. Seventh place. And maybe you so kind and give us his opinion about this reposition. So, most of the athletes getting ready for the sighting. We'll take a quick move away. Just want to let you see what goes into the making of these jackets. You know, rifle disciplines. Made to measure, of course. because they can 
provide a design computer aided, of course, but uh, you certainly need staff who know what they're doing and can uh, use the kind of heavy duty sewing machine that's used to make stitch handmade uh, shoes as well. Again, the buckles. Of course, uh, the Olympic venue three years ago, just over three years ago. Drive past the uh, Olympic centre on the way here. The cluster, the diving pool there, the uh, velodrome is there as well. Lovely uh, buildings for Rio to enjoy past the Olympics, hosting concerts and all sorts now. So two minutes of uh, time left in this change of position. Seven minutes for this. There'll be nine as we go from prone to standing. And you can see the distance that they are shooting. 50 metres so far away that uh, the targets are in the open air. There's not a breath of wind. We've got uh, some of the, the air monitors, the ribbons, and they're not flapping around at all. It is open uh, out there. And the targets are shielded from the sun, kept in the shade by some massive gazebos. on by coaches and friends and teammates alike. She uh, already bettered her World Cup best of 17 in Beijing earlier this year. have been readjusted. These athletes have been uh, just checking. Jen McIntosh looking at her sighting. She needs to uh, perhaps get a couple of shots in because it's all over the place on the groupings. At the moment though, Tom off the pile. And uh, well, Kim, her career in China, far away from her. Really is warm in this hall. Another three series of five shots, 15 shots then. Stop. In the prone position. Clock will reset. 150 seconds, of course. In for the next series. competition A little less time. No. And for the kneeling position, because it is a little bit more stable, Stop. a little less, perhaps, effort to get the same results and we should see more in the 10 ring. That's the theory anyway. Second position in pro, three series of five shots for these athletes. Good start from Ilna McIntosh in the 10 ring as well. 10-7 from Bukasinovic will lift her up into fourth. Ponytail, 10-6, we keep her in the lead, just 0.3 ahead of Kim Jae-hee. 
from Vukasinovic followed by a 10-1 well the grouping was good until that point with a 10-9 obviously can't get any better than that Mentos snapped not from the coaches though keeping their eyes very closely on the action and as you can expect the scores are better in this prone position 10-7 from Kim, good grouping, just a little bit to left and to bottom. 10-5 again, excellent from her in shooting position. F. Recall is always a good indicator of how good the shot is. If it's coming straight back at the athlete, and it's good. So all right. It's a struggling side, 10 is better than it should be in the uh, nine ring. Coror has been as well, but she's recovered well, a bit sort of uh, hit and miss, I guess literally. She's bottom of the pile at the moment. But yeah, well, not so far away, she hasn't got a chance. Stop. Towards yeah, so the uh, business end of this competition. Well, McIntosh has been overhauled, not by uh, Beer. But uh, by Kim Chee who shot very well there. The difference just uh, 1.4. Zhao of uh, China is a little bit further behind now. I did say that McIntosh was struggling with their grouping, down a little bit to the bottom right of the target. The last one was 10-7, so that would have helped her recover a wee bit, but she knows she's got to do a little bit better. For the next competition series, low. Stopwatch ready in the hands of Oscar Martinez from Stop. Venezuela, our chief range officer. Is it? And straight on to the next one. Keep your concentration, keep your heartbeat slow. Shoot as soon as you feel yourself comfortable. Being always disappointed at 9 9. 10 8 from Kim. Keeps her top of the pile. She's point one ahead of Macintosh. British athletes, Lucinovic struggling in shooting position A. G here. And on the right hand side of the spectators work out. Three years of age in a battle. A 10 9 will help her in that battle with Sharon McIntosh. Goodness me, she is scoring exceptionally well. By her high standards, a 10 1 will be a disappointment. Spectators here can see exactly what's going on. The athletes have their monitors, of course, as well. This the middle of three series. up a little bit, not in bottom place, up into sixth. Nine eight. So the grouping's not great for the Ukrainian athlete. Lukasinovic back on it with a 10-8. Should be pleased with that. Macintosh at 9-8. Goodness me, with Kim getting a 10-6. So she is 2.3 points behind now. So in fact she's dropped down into third place Macintosh. And it's paid Rui Xiao of China, who is in second place, but quite some distance behind Kim. Confirmation then, Kim into top spot. McIntosh first, to third. Good 
Okay then, the last of the prone shots, five more in 150 seconds, two and a half minutes, and uh, well it's important for the top three to keep themselves within fighting distance of each other, Macintosh will back herself when she is in the standing position, Coral with two decent shots in the series. They're not quite getting that's better for Marina, getting some semblance of grouping there. Dvorak, C2 high and then one low. 10 8 for Marina, excellent work. And she's certainly doing decent work here. Remember, the first two leave after the second of the standing series of five shots shot we lose somebody so if you've not got yourself into a decent position then you might be in trouble. Tosh looking to the right to check the monitor. Kim with a 10-9 and Lena with a 10-8. Macintosh at 10. She is struggling at the moment. Stop. Close and to second goal. place but still Nine in third. So she Jordan has pulled some Stop. of that distance back. Clock starts at nine minutes. We'll just check out the standings. Kim Ji Hee of Korea still top at the moment. Yao Zhao, the Yao Zhao of China, two and a half points behind. But now they were worried more about getting themselves ready for the standing part of this competition. So, a lot to do here, most difficult uh, transition, that's why they have the uh, nine minutes and uh, of course there will be all sorts of moving around. And it's a chance for a little bit just to relax after the intense concentration of this th three series. Croatia with the gold, Sanjeev Rajput of India. It looked like he's going to get the gold, but a poor last shot. Dead for that ambition. So everything changes once again. Sights change. Because, of course, your head is a lot higher than it was in the prone position. The stock right at the back. There you go. Changes again. And the cheek plate can be readjusted as well. Some do it at their station, some whilst kneeling down. Remember, that most of these athletes will remove the uh, mats that they have uh, shot in the prone position. And of course, we have to lug these uh, trousers and jackets back on, zip them up. Get the uh, special ball with the uh, ammunition on it. 
change that height as well, of course, because you're standing up, not kneeling. Didn't need it in uh, the pro position, of course, so a lot has to change. And every athlete is different. This is uh, Alina of Ukraine, who shot really well, I thought, in that uh, pro position. Uh, how can she do in the standing section? Remember, the nine minutes includes your sighting shots, and you're going to need a few more sighting shots here. Most difficult transition. That's the shoulder strap. Standing. Help keep the rifle supported. Have your multi tool. Got to put it in that uh, box there, I'm afraid. Nothing else we can do. Got to have everything. Like you can go away looking, get your coach to run and get something. These stiff canvas suits being buckled up now. Macintosh. Representing Great Britain and of course the Commonwealth Games, representing Scotland very proudly, especially uh, her sister Jen in uh, Glasgow a few years ago. Well, some at the shooting position quicker than others. Sinovich still getting herself ready in position A, as is the Ukrainian Anna Elina. Josh, a bit of work to do now. Point two behind uh, Pei of China, who is in second place, but uh, Kim Jae is quite some distance ahead of them. Two and a half, just over two and a half points. That is quite a lot, considering that we are getting to the crunch moment now. Target's very important, and goodness me, hasn't technology come on in the last few years? Nowadays, you just have an app for it, don't you? You can bring up your target on your smartphone. You can uh, see the targets straight away. You can print out. You can look up your slot at your local club. Or, very clever, you can illuminate your target or dim it and not bother the person next to you. As long as you've got some decent Wi Fi, you're absolutely fine and uh, you can do all sorts of analysis. Targets, of course, uh, laser, uh, lasers, network, lasers. But, you know, in some cases, not only X and Y, but also a three dimensional Z dimension, so you know you're shooting the right target. So, very clever what they can do. Club level. This, of course, at the elite level, takes a small army of uh, people to make sure it is correct and it is right. Very technical. You want to make sure the World Cup goal goes to the right person. Here in your eyes, that's for sure. Still just over two and a half minutes left as we change the position from prone to standing, a reminder of how it works, two series of five shots after that second series, so two athletes will leave. These targets, it is very clever because you can run pellets and lasers next to each other, the targets can work accordingly. smartphone with you, a bit of uh, Wi-Fi, lock yourself in, make sure it's you of course, and then uh, away you go, don't get where you're going to be, with the barcode,
go before we get underway with the last part of this 15 meter rifle three position. So two series of five shots, then two leave. And after each shot, someone leaves. Series 13 settles gold and silver, and it is 45 shots to gold. Good crowd in. It is the weekend, of course. Of, uh, Central Rio. The uh, shotgun range is next door. Did a little bit of lunch earlier, I can hear the shotguns in action as well. Not part of the World Cup, just uh, local enthusiasts trying to break some clays. Got to get underway in the last series. And this is how it looks at the moment. Two and a half points a big margin between Kim and Pei. Macintosh not far behind the Chinese athlete. At the bottom, Coral and Fiora. Two quite some way behind the rest. Stop. It's waiting for the command to start the first of the standing series. 250 seconds, 4 minutes, Lower. 10 seconds. Start. A bit longer because they will take longer, they'll be concentrating on their breathing. Okay, understanding. 10 3 Macintosh will be happy, especially with Kim getting at a 9 9. Keep an eye on Pay as well. A 9 2. Well, all of a sudden, Macintosh is in second. That's how quickly it can change in this part of the competition and why we need to keep our eyes peeled, especially on the top three and the bottom two or three as well. Things can change very quickly. These are the athletes. From the Far East. Okay, long journey for them. In contention for a podium place. And all of a sudden, Pay is dropping down into third place. Macintosh starting to try and move away, but she got a 9 6 last time out as well. more variable, much more movement. There's no reason why if you're a midfield you can't find yourself top of the pile if you keep shooting well. This is what you do best. And of course a lot of these athletes will be more comfortable here shooting in the 10 meter air rifle. Very different uh, piece of kit though, a lot lighter. Marina of the Ukraine and Dvorak. Sixth and seventh at the moment. Coral of Kazakhstan is the athlete who is a couple of shots behind these two. Tiorek watching on from the coach's seat. Ten three, should be happy with that. Back into Ashwin, ten four, but she had one, I think. Virtually, you know, just about in the nine ring. So, she's back down into third place. Pay back up into second. It's very variable, isn't it? Goodness me. Keep yourself somewhere in the tens, and you are going to be in with a shout. It's consistency. Macintosh's grouping is non existent, really. Kim, again, struggling for consistency. Pay to the left, and in the nine ring. Coral can't buy anything in the 10 at the moment. She looks like one of the first athletes who might well go. Dvorak 
is in a spot of bother as well. It is warm out there. It really is, and you don't want to be sweating all over your sights. Stop. Beer is up into fourth. Looking good, the German athlete. Kim has uh, kept herself in the lead, though. She has started shooting this series really well. Two and a half points now, her advantage is 3.7. Tied with uh, Macintosh Pay. So, very tight. Battle for second. Whether Kim can keep this up, of course, is another matter. So, one more series in standing position, and then we lose our first two athletes. Norak, Coral, the two in the danger zone at the moment. For the next competition series, quite some Lord. way behind Helena of the Ukraine. Start. Three points ahead in uh, sixth place. So five more shots for those athletes to save themselves. Macintosh and Pei, Ri Jiao of China, looking to get closer to Kim Ji Hee of Korea. That's a good way to start your effort. This is Kim McIntosh, first and second. 10-3, well that's a really big nibble into Kim's lead. You can still see she's still got quite a bit of hand there. The youngster, their first World Cup final. The best in junior World Cups was only ninth, so this is astonishing from the Korean. Another 10-3 from McIntosh. What can Kim do? Slight delay on our targets. Oh, a 10-5. That'll do the business. And it's a good battle at the top. Don McIntosh watching on. 10-5 is good. 10-6 from Vukasinovic. Even better. She's dropped down into sixth place because of that first shot. Still, the two quite a long way away from safety at the moment. The others looking to keep consistent. Beer with a 10 4. German athlete, third from the left. 10 7 from Vukasinovic. She's shooting really well at the moment. Will that help her move somewhere near the medals? Saw there. This is Alina. Should be safe, should be for the time being. It's very much like it's Coral and Dvorak who will make way. Dvorak on the far side, not able to group her standing shots at all. from Cole is good but it's a little too little too late Macintosh well that's a really good series from her and she is within point one of Kim Kim who has not shot as you can see on shooting position F nearly as well and it's back to being very very tight still not some shooters still to get their ammunition away but uh, that's it Title battle as well. Alina Stop. shooting overall better, but still behind. So now it is confirmed. Uh, eighth position and our seventh position. Eighth position goes to the athlete from Kazakhstan, a bronze in New Delhi earlier this year. But it's not going to be a medal here for the 24 year old. 
So Herta Coral is the athlete who has to leave in eighth place. Disappointment for her and uh, disappointment as well for Zima uh, Norak as well. The Olympia Club. World Cup bronze for her last year as well, but not one here. She finishes in seventh place. So it all starts to speed up from here on in. We lose an athlete after each shot now. At the moment, it's uh, Joey Beer who has dropped down. She's half a point behind Lukasinovic, who really shot well in that last series. She heats still top and only just from Sinead McIntosh. Beer and Sinovic in a battle to stay in the competition. For the next competition shot, no. Start. 50 seconds to get this shot away then. Half a point between Beer, who looked to be shooting pretty well. That was certainly overhauled by Vukasinovic, the Serbian. One of two who cannot get the quota place. But she'll be going for the uh, medal. Beer, 10-1. There's going to be a oh, enough. Not quite. A 9-7 from Vukasinovic. It's just point one in it. And it is Beer who will have to make way next. Goodness me, it was almost, almost a surprise. We have seen some of those this, this week. McIntosh shooting well. She's gone top at the other end of the table. 10-7 from her. Well, she has a gold in the World Cup, a gold in the World Cup final. A medal in the European Championships. But there's not going to be another medal here for Julian Beer. Woman from Hanover, not her day, just unable to stay in the competition. McIntosh without 10 7, Elite Frogs, Kim Ji He, who had a very poor 9.9 last time out. Five left, one more shot to lose the next athlete. We're getting closer to knowing who's in the medals. Start. Elena and Vukasinovic, 1.4. Elena has the advantage over Vukasinovic. Can change, we saw nearly a change in order in the last shoot to lose an athlete. Beer, of course, who shot well. Vukasinovic, well, it gives a bit of a chance, but it's gonna to be too much of an ass for Elena, whatever she does. Just waiting for confirmation. Stop. It's a 10, I can yeah, tell it's a 10. Yeah, Just a slight delay. Lukasinovic waited very patiently before putting the safety in. Sanya Lukasinovic, well, Serbia already have a quota place. So at least they're not missing out on that. But Vukasinovic does miss out on the podium. She will have to settle for fifth place. Four athletes gone. Four left. Just not Vukasinovic's day. Eighth in New Delhi. So best this year and in her career. So she's better than with fifth, but still not quite a World Cup medal. Four left then. Who's going to miss out on a medal? It looks like it might well be Anna Alina. She's uh, scrapped hard to keep herself in this competition. Pei Ri Zhao, after challenging for the top spot, now uh, just making sure she keeps herself in this competition. She was uh, second went to the standing section of this competition. Ten point for Alina and uh, Pei has shot a 9.1 and it is enough to keep her in the competition. Waiting for McIntosh to shoot. Oh, we 
though. She looks like she has shot. We're not getting a... Stop. We're not getting a score from McIntosh. 9-7 has just come up. Slightly slow. The uh, scoring system for seconds for the heat. The Rio heat that's doing it. Confirmation then that uh, Anna Elena of Ukraine, the 22-year-old youngster, world rank 25 in the world. A junior European Championship gold was in the final in Chengwon last year. Still smiles for her. Three left. We know who will have the medals, but which order will it be? The Chinese athlete Pei Rizhao has so do a bit of work here. 1.2 behind. Tosh already has a, a quota, but my reckoning it's Korea and China who have the quotas. We will confirm that. And they shot pretty quickly, didn't they? And Pei shot well, but not well enough. It's 9 1. was ball from Kim. And all of a sudden it's McIntosh who looks like she might take the gold. Looking to keep her calm. The youngster from Edinburgh in Scotland. There's confirmation then of the bronze medal. And I'll make it an Olympic quota place as well. And a youngster, 23 years of age. And the coach, I think it's fair to say, is pleased. As a World Cup gold from Guadalajara last year, but not here, it is a bronze. 50 seconds then to decide who will take this gold medal. McIntosh certainly in the box seat. 2.6 ahead of Kim Jae-hee. McIntosh is going to have to really falter here for the gold not to go to her after a silver in the 10 meter air rifle. 10, it's enough. It's enough for McIntosh. Doesn't really matter what Kim shoots. We'll wait to see what that has registered. We're still waiting, but it doesn't matter. So, They're 10. McIntosh so takes the gold. And Korea take the silver medal and the quota place as well. Excellent competition. Shona McIntosh always there or thereabouts. Came good in the standing part of this competition. I think the tears are coming now. A silver in the 10 meter air rifle, gold here. And Kim Jin Hee celebrates with a silver medal as well. Excellent competition. These three not really challenged by anybody else. Best in the World Cup for Sharon McIntosh was bronze in Munich. Before that, 28th place the year before. So she's really coming on, isn't she? Still just 23 years of age. And the McIntosh clan, all shooters of some note, will be very, very happy. I think that's uh, just uh, Kim arriving at the party a little late. Confirmation of how it's finished. Pei Rizhao of... China takes the Tokyo quota place out of bronze. It's also a quota place for the silver medalist Kim Jin Hee. And gold for Shona McIntosh of Great Britain. And it's all smiles from the Scott. Britain taking gold here by quite some distance as well. Excellent work from her. 
in his kin and Pei, who take the quota places as well as silver and bronze, respectively. Well, it's a marathon, not a sprint, but it certainly gets pretty dramatic towards the end. You've got to do the hard work first in the knee and the pro positions. And if you can stay there or thereabouts, you will get your reward. It was Macintosh and Kim and Pei who were holding the majority of the time those top three positions. and in this intense heat here in Rio, not easy, under the glare of your coaches and the fans. The ammunition moved quickly into position as the competition moved towards its climax. her fans by getting a medal. It was all about this woman who kept going and overhauled the rest in the standing part, the final part of the competition. Medals and quarter places to Kim and to Pei. As the rest fell away. Macintosh, in the end, managed to keep calm and carry on. And after the silver in the Tamitra Air Rifle, she takes the gold here in the 50 to rifle three position.